one of the great art treasures of Second Presbyterian Church is a collection of pre-Raphaelite murals created by Frederick Clay Bartlett. Frederick was born in 1873 in Chicago. His father, Adolphus Clay Bartlett, was a partner and later president in the large wholesale hardware firm of Hibbard, Spencer, and Bartlett. In 1893, Frederick visited the World's Columbian Exposition numerous times, and at that point made the decision to devote his life to art. The next year, he became one of the first Americans to be accepted at the Royal Academy in Munich. During the six years that he spent in Europe, he had the opportunity to study with several prominent artists, including the French muralist Paul Pouvet de Chavan, best known in the United States for his series of murals executed for the Boston Public Library. In 1900, Frederick returned to Chicago, where he rented a studio on the top floor of the Fine Arts Building. He was one of several artists to paint a mural in the hallways on the 10th floor, and it can still be seen there today. His first large commission occurred when Second Presbyterian Church was badly damaged by fire in March of 1900. His good friend, the architect Howard Van Doren Shaw, was hired to rebuild the church and engage Bartlett to design a series of 13 murals to decorate the sanctuary. They were featured in a large article in House Beautiful magazine. 12 of the murals surround the windows along the sides of the church and show angels praising God in poses of adoration, holding musical instruments and the abundance of the harvest. The largest of the murals is known as the Tree of Life and is located on the front wall of the sanctuary directly above the case containing the organ pipes. The lower portion of this mural depicts the Garden of Eden. Above that is the rainbow from the story of Noah and at the top a procession of angels taken from the book of Revelation. Another early project of Bartlett's was a large mural for the Bartlett Gymnasium on the campus of the University of Chicago, depicting athletic games in the Middle Ages. His largest project was for the University of Club, which hired Halliburton Roche to design their building in 1908 on Michigan Avenue at Monroe. Bartlett designed the seal for the club shown here. On the second floor, the large dining room known as the Michigan Room contains a ceiling with 56 panels painted by Bartlett depicting a large hunt and feast. The 10th floor cathedral room shows a series of stained glass windows depicting the mottos of various universities. This was Bartlett's largest window commission as well. Just three years later, once again in conjunction with Holliburton and Roche, Bartlett received a commission to decorate the council chambers of the new city hall. His project included 11 large panels, each one nine feet tall, depicting labor, justice, truth, and other subjects which were treated symbolically. Unfortunately, these murals were completely destroyed when the council chambers were damaged by a fire in 1957. Another large church commission was for Fourth Presbyterian, which was built on North Michigan Avenue in 1914. Bartlett did extensive decoration of the ceiling and also painted the series of angels around the sanctuary shown playing various instruments. In 1919, he married for the second time to Miss Helen Birch, and they became well-known art collectors 
traveling through Europe and collecting canvases from many of the post-Impressionist artists. After her death in 1925, he donated the collection of 24 paintings to the Art Institute and they were shown in a single room in memory of his wife. The collection included the first Picasso, Van Gogh, Degas, and Toulouse-Lautrec paintings in the Art Institute collection. But the best known work was this, Sunday Afternoon on Le Grand Jatte, painted by Georges Seurat, arguably one of the best known paintings in the world to this day. Bartlett remarried for a third time and in later years enjoyed spending much of his time between his summer homes in New England and his winter home in Florida. He died just after his 80th birthday in June of 1953. Bartlett's legacy today includes his winter home known as Bonnet House, which is located in Fort Lauderdale. It contains the largest collection of his work and is open to the public. The result of his third wife, Evelyn, donating it to the Florida Trust in the 1980s. At Second Presbyterian, several of his murals have been restored. This was the first mural restored as a test, and you can see the dramatic difference between the portion that is uncleaned on the left and the portion that had been cleaned on the right. Additional restorations have been completed since that time, showing Bartlett's beautiful artistic work. We look forward to sharing his work with you when you are next able to visit Second Presbyterian Church.